the, so the diff diffusion spectrum imaging uh, for the first time, or high, high angular resolution diffusion imaging broadly, allows you to look at the fiber architecture of an, an entire brain to see how it all fits together as a single piece. In addition, it's not insignificant that you can practice this in the human brain and even in living human subjects, which means that we're obviously trying to spin this up to become a diagnostic tool. But from these images of the, the entire brain, you can see the relationship of one thing to another. And recently, as uh, our science paper described, uh, we have found that the, uh, the inner structure of the brain is extraordinarily simple. Uh, that uh, the brain has the three-dimensional shape of a deformed grid, a three-dimensional grid in three axes. Uh, that the, the most sensible way to think of it is that these axes that the, the pathways follow are the axes of development. So there's the top to bottom, left to right, and front to back. And as the brain develops, this structure becomes extremely curved and therefore hard to recognize, but fundamentally uh, retains that shape. So overall, it's sort of easy to imagine the shape of the brain at once uh, in terms of uh, three-dimensional, highly deformed grid.